Welcome to Legacy Week, a week where we will be revisiting six of Yu-Gi-Oh's oldest and most iconic sets. Each day, I will open a 24-pack booster box made up of 25th anniversary packs, starting with Invasion of Chaos and continuing in reverse chronological order. Each day, we will total the number of foils pulled and the total value. Which set has what it takes to earn the title of Legacy Week Champion? Let's find out together. Welcome back to Legacy Week, Episode 5. Yeah, we're already five episodes in. If you've missed the other four episodes, go check them out. There will be a playlist on the screen. If you want to go watch those because, I mean, the pulls have been absolutely insane. And today's episode is going to be probably my favorite episode. We have a Metal Raiders opening, my favorite set. You guys know this. Petite Moth, potential, who knows? Maybe some secret rares, Summon Skull, Beast Skull, all that crazy stuff. Yeah, we're going to be opening up metal raiders today and yeah as you guys know uh we gotta you know the, the packs don't all fit in there but it's 24 booster packs and i want to remind you guys that sassiato has sponsored legacy week and the 200k special videos and he's gonna have pre-orders for the july release of the booster boxes of the 25th anniversary so metal raiders you'll be able to get that right now use my code for five percent off you'll be able to get whatever booster boxes you want from the five no you can't get dark crisis i'm sorry dark crisis fans but the other five will be available coming out in july so go pre-order down below it supports sassiato he's supporting Supporting me by sponsoring this video and we love supporting Sassiato because he is awesome okay let's just get into it guys what we want out of here is basically every possible card of course the legendary pequeno moth we want gate guardian we want thousand dragon summon skull beast skull solemn judgment I mean, we don't really want Horn of Heaven. We'll throw that out there. Knock on wood right now that we don't get that. We got Barrel Dragon. I mean, there's so many good cards in here. I'm hoping that we have our best opening yet. We've already had some... A piece of dust just went past the camera. There was just a piece of dust that went across the camera. I think you guys could see... Yeah, that was weird. I don't think that's ever happened before. I saw it flash on OBS. It did it again! What's going on with the dust? This is weird. I don't know what's happening. Maybe that's why I sneeze so much. But okay, let's open this thing up. I don't remember what I was saying. All those different packs that we want... Uh, also, we've been keeping track of the total pulls, you know, and total value. Here's what you can see how the other four did. Uh, there's been some good ones. There's been some crazy ones. So I'm hoping that we can top it today. I mean, one Bacanio Moth will be enough. That's like a million dollars, right? So we have a uh, Killer Needle. Occubeam, the Castle of Dark Illusions, my favorite set. Will we pull something crazy? Really awesome comments in this set. Rares, of course, the Ultra Supers are all really good. Empress Judge, we have Sangan, what an awesome rare. It's classic. And a Baby Dragon. This is a really nice one. Joey Wheeler comment. I mean, who doesn't remember Joey Wheeler from the show? Unless you haven't seen it, which if you haven't seen it, I don't know, you're missing out, guys. Metal Raiders. Second pack, Legacy Week, Episode 5. What a crazy week it has been. Go check out those other videos if you've missed them because they have been nuts. The, the polls have been so good. Oh, I forgot to say, the giveaway. I knew I was forgetting something. Giveaway is every poll in this video. Like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know down below which you think will be the best box in Legacy Week. It's getting easier and easier because you've eliminated some of them as we've gone. Labyrinth Wall, we have our, our tank, I should say. We have Elegant Egotist. First pull, maybe? Thousand Dragon with a giveaway right in the middle of the pack. All right, Thousand Dragon has been pulled. Our first foil is a secret rare. That's a good start. We have officially pulled a secret rare in every box so far. So that is really, really good. Oh my goodness, a Thousand Dragon secret rare. Can we get a Gate Guardian to go along with it? So far, we've had a couple of double secret pulls, but none of them have had both secret rares from the set. So this could be the first time. We want to get that Gate Guardian. There's a Pumpkin in the game of Ghosts. Cybersaurus looks like a stuffed animal. The seven colored fish, including the lips. Tremendous fire, doing that burn damage. Kaminari attack, used to be an expensive common for a while. Hayasube, we got Cocoon of Evolution for the Pequeno Moth. Mask of Darkness, and Leogun the Lion. All right, guys, Metal Raiders. It's been a fun legacy week. One of the most anticipated sets of the week, for sure, at least for me. I don't know about you guys. Let me know down below if you've enjoyed it, Mystic Horseman, because we still got the secret opening coming up. We got the live stream to 200k. We got the 200k, 200 pack opening, which is going to include some really amazing packs. Jory Gumo, we have Steel Scorpion, Muka Muka, and Lady Nefe. All right, Metal Raiders, so far one secret rare, so not a bad start. I mean, the other last couple openings started slow and then went crazy. This one, we're at least, you know, pulling a secret rare early. Hopefully we can pull something good. Bottom Dweller, Dwelling in the Bottom, Thunder Dragon. Flame Cerberus, we got Feral Imp, Hibikime, Steel Scorpion, the Oguchi, Bladefly, and Sword of Deep Seated. Pretty annoying card because it goes back to the top of your deck, but sometimes that's good if you're trying to get, you know, decked out or something that could really pay off. All right, next pack of Metal Raiders. I just cut myself on the box, so yeah. Uh, <laughs> Metal Raiders box, a little bit too sharp, you know what I'm saying. It's a little bit too clutch. We have the Crawling Dragon, Black and Fire Dragon, Mornfin, 
We got Jinzo, number seven. We've pulled Jinzo before, but uh, not number seven. Punishing, we got Buggeroth. The Unhappy. We've already pulled Buggeroth, too. There's a couple versions of that. Mask of Darkness and King of Yami Makai. Check out that 1530 defense. That's pretty cool. And by cool, I mean you probably hated it when you had to do that extra math, you know? You didn't have a calculator. Like, really? 30? How am I supposed to remember this? One, two, three. Can we get that Castle of Dark Lush? I think we already got it, but it has some crazy stats. Disc Magician. We have Disc Magician needs to, he needs his own archetype. <laughs> we have Cybersaurus. We have Rocco Gregato, Mushroom Man, number two. Said it there. Doma, Ground Attacker Buggeroth. We have Witch of the Black Forest and a Wing Guardian of the Fortress. All right, Wing Dragon Guardian of the Fortress. Numero uno, but only one foil so far. Not a great start. Next pack, Metal Raiders 25th Anniversary. Here we go. One, two, three. All right, the Bottom Dweller. Paralyzing Potion. We have Electric Lazard. Pale Beast. I made it into the video. Yadakaru. We have Water Ammonix. That is the uh, PG version, not like the uh, Japanese one. Crash Clown. We have Muka Muka. And Sword of Deep Seated at the end again. That's okay. Metal Raiders. I still believe you'll pull us something good, like a Petite Moth. Who knows? Pecanio Moth. Anybody? Come on, make it happen. One, two, three. We have Destroyer Golem. Ancient Elf. Guiltia the D Knight. Yadakaru. Punished Eagle. Share the Pain. Swamp Battle Guard, Cannon Soldier, and a Lady Defe. Lady Defe, we have no foils besides the Thousand Dragon. This is a slow start. We have one Secret Rare, which is great to get a Secret Rare, but the rest of these packs have not looked so good. Roaring Ocean Snake, come on, Tainted Wisdom, give us something good here. Blast Juggler, Illusionist, Faceless Mage, Pegasus, Genzo, Numero Siete. All right, Lava Battle Guard, we got Soul Release. Which is Apprentice Sand, Ryu Kishin, Power. Wow, we like one for eight right now. This is slow start Metal Raiders. I'm just throwing that out there. Not even a Bacanio Moth. It is the rarest card in the set though, so makes sense. Okay, wait, we're actually one for 10 right now. One for 10. Okay, uh, we're gonna need a big turnaround here. Our worst foil pulls have been five total foils in Invasion of Chaos. So we've got one right now, so not a good start. Dream Cloud, we got more infin. It can turn around at any point though. Fire Dragon, we got Sagi, the Dark Clown. Tremendous Fire. The water, Amonix, pouring water. A witch's apprentice. Oh, and it can turn around at any moment. Summon Skull Ultra Rare. This card is always treated as an Archfiend card. That just, that just, this looks weird. It's Summon Skull. Shouldn't be there, but hey. Oh my goodness. Two of the best cards, only two foils. And they're two of the best cards in the set. It's been insane. Metal Raiders, the pulls have been awesome. Last pack of the right side. Here we go. We have Ryu Kishin Powered. We have Gazo, the king of mythical beasts. Treated as a phantom beast card. I didn't realize that. I mean, that's how the, uh, like, what do you call those? The uh, problem solving text? That has really helped me understand that. We have Hibikime. Kaminari Attack. Ground Attacker, Bugroth. Lava Battle Guard. The Magician, Defe. And. Armored Lazard, so two foils through 12 packs, I think is our worst start yet, but with two of the best cards in the set, it's really not a bad start. 12 packs left, guys, we're halfway through. Legacy Week, Episode 5. Crawling Dragon, finale tomorrow, so keep an eye out for that. Hunter Spider, Ring of Magnetism. We got the Armored Zombie. How's that armor treating you there, buddy? We've got Tongyo, I wonder why he's called that. Maybe it's because of the tongue. Little Swordsman of Ale. Share the pain. Shadow Ghoul, and we have King of Yami Makai. A lot of packs left. Let's, come on, get us a Gate Guardian. Gate Guardian and a Beast Skull. Just have four foils. That'd be pretty sick. That'd be a nice four foils. Roaring Ocean Snake. We have Flame Cerberus, three-headed monster. Prevent Rat, Castle of Dark Illusion, 1920 attack, or 920 attack, 1930 defense. Very easy for us to deal with. Cheerful Coffin. We have Ancient Lizard Warrior. Lava Battle Guard. We've got Witch of the Black Forest. And Destroyer Golem, a golem with a massive right hand for crushing its victims. All right, next up, guys. It's been a good opening, but it's been a little bit, you know, low on the foils. The quality has definitely been there, though. We got Deep Seated. Disc Magician getting his own archetype. Ancient Elf, when he's the <laughs> Ancient Elf archetype, anybody? Deep Sea Shark, Castle of Dark Illusions again with that weird stats. With little swords unavailable. Blue Wing Crown, the Blade Fly, and the Bottom Dweller. He dwells in the bottom. Still a lot of packs left. Not a lot. Maybe like eight packs left. I think it's like eight or nine right now. Till we're done. One, two, three. Come on, Metal Raiders. No Petite Moth yet? No Petite Moth in Legacy Week? Come on, Flame Cerberus. Give me some luck in the comments right now. I need it, guys. Rainbow Flower. We have the Cheerful Coffin. The Giga Tech Wolf. Big Eye. Cocoon of Evolution. Shield and Sword. Not Pokemon. And Ancient Brain. Feel the pain. 
So we've got two cocoons, but no Pecanio Moth, no Cousin Moth, no Grande Moth. The moths are avoiding us, I'm just saying. It's very strange, the moths are avoiding us. Wing Dragon, Guardian of the Fortress Numero Uno. Thunder Dragon, come on, we have Flame Cerberus, three-headed uh, attacker, we have Protector of the Throne. Punish Eagle, we got the Stim Pack, pretty scary. Harpy Lady, a classic common card. Mask of Darkness, did we finally get another foil? Come on. King of Yami Makai, wow, two foils. This is pretty rough so far. I mean, I really can't complain about the two foils it was, but wow, this is uh, pretty unlucky to have this few foils. But maybe they're all at the end, who knows? Who knows? They're all random packs. It's part of the fun of the random packs. Could be great, could be terrible, could be great foils, not a lot of pulls, could be a lot of pulls, not great foils, could be the opposite. Larva Moth, let's go! The Cousin Moth has been pulled. German Faction, we got Deep Sea Shark, Little Swords on a Veil, Doma, the Angel of Silence. Milus Radiant and uh, Skull Knight, the knight with skulls on him. <laughs> All right, guys, maybe six packs left, something like that, maybe five. I don't know. We got to hope for more foils. This is going to be the, of course, Metal Raiders would have the less, you know, the least amount of foils. Uh, we have Gazelle, the King of Mythical Beast, and we have the Killer Needle. Scary. He's got a big needle. Feral. <laughs> okay, that was, man. Blue Wing Crown. Sometimes I just say things and they just don't, they should not be said. We have uh, Elegant Egotist and a Leo Gun. And uh, you know what? The Metal Raiders box is punishing me for that. Next pack. Give us something crazy. One, two, three. Lady de Fay. Guiltia, the D Knight. Ring of Magnetism. Illusionist, Faceless Mage. Mystic Lamp. Share the Pain. Stim Pack. Mooka. Mooka. And. Baby Dragon, Joey Wheeler is back. Now, Joey, give us a Time Wizard. Come on, your, your card. Make it happen. Four packs left. Metal Raiders, no Petite Moth. Two total foils. At least it's a secret and an awesome ultra. Come on, give us another one. Come on, Rabbit Horseman. A mix of Battle Ox and Mystic Horseman. We got Guilty of the Need Knight, which, which is a combination of Guardian of the Labyrinth, the Protector of the Throne. We have Killer Needle, Mystic Lamp, Tremendous Fire, the Little Swords on a Veil, Lava Battle Guard, Little Chimera, and we have a Guardian of the Labyrinth with that weird thing. Isn't this on other things? I think this is on other cards, this weird pink thing with the mouth. I didn't realize that till just now. A monster that guards the entrance to the netherworld. Which is the monster, this or this? I feel like that's a monster too, I'm just saying. Three packs left. You know what the real monster is? Not pulling any foils. Rabbit Horseman, come on, Thunder Dragon. Where are the foils? Flame Cerberus, Rocco Grotto, Numero Uno. Mushroom Man, number two. We've got Blue Wing Crown, Amber's Judge, Cannon Soldier, and Armin Lizard. Oh no, guys, two packs left. Metal Raiders, why must you betray us? Not like this. One, two, three. Bless us with something good. Dwelling in the bottom. Oh no. Tainted Wisdom. We got Blackland Fire Dragon, Illusionist, Faceless Mage, Mystic Lamp, Crass Clown, Launcher Spider. Magician de Fay, come on, foil, please! Game Guardian, and that's how you do it! That is a foil, another secret rare! So both secrets have been pulled, and only two. Two secrets and one other foil, three total foils. What a weird opening, we'll take it though, Gate Guardian! So these are all the foils we pulled out of 23 packs so far. That is insane. Our final pack, you remember what I wished for? I said it. Gay Guardian B Skull to end it and just have four foils. It could happen. If this, if I predicted this, this would be one of the craziest predictions we've done yet. Here we go. Battle Steer. Let's go. We got Mornfin. Electric Lazard. We got Protector of the Throne. Labyrinth Tank. Harpy Lady. Mooka Mooka. Oh my gosh. This is B Skull. Oh, it's a Garibo. What's a foil? At least we got a super. One super in the whole box. But hey, four foils, our least number of foils yet, but probably three of our best pulls overall. So the value might have actually caught up there and actually did pretty well. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Don't forget to check out Sassiato's link down below. Get 5% off the booster boxes coming out in July. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxer, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, Dizzy, Mycycle, America Deutscher, Supreme Sage 21, and then a tie show. Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Mehmet Gecko, and Thomas McClain. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.